Hi, my name is Kelly, and the new text-to-image AI art generators had me so fascinated that I wanted to experiment and see how well they could translate our favorite books into imagery. It gets one time to shine and one time only. The first image it creates is what we see, just as we would when we read the book. We will be focusing on Genesis 19, 1 through 29 for subscriber Pam. She wants to see how AI will interpret the fall of Sodom and Gomorrah, and so do I. Thank you so much for joining me on this experiment, Pam. It means the world to me. And that goes for all of you new subscribers. Thank you so much for taking an interest. Okay, this story tells the tale of Lot, a nephew of the prophet Abraham and his family who are living in the city of Sodom. When two angels visit them, they warn Lot and his family of the impending destruction of the city by God due to its wickedness. As they flee, Lot's wife disobeys the angel's warning and looks back at the burning city, turning into a pillar of salt. The story serves as a warning of the consequences of disobedience and the importance of following God's commands. Through the use of AI, we will bring this story to life through stunning visual interpretations that hopefully capture the emotion and message of the story. Join me on this journey as we again delve into the world of Genesis and explore the power of AI art. The two angels arrived at Sodom in the evening, and Lot was sitting in the gateway of the city. When he saw them, he got up to meet them and bowed down with his face to the ground. My lords, he said, please turn aside to your servant's house. You can wash your feet and spend the night and then go on your way early in the morning. No, they answered, we will spend the night in the square. But he insisted so strongly that they did go with him and entered his house. He prepared a meal for them, baking bread without yeast, and they ate. Before they had gone to bed, all the men from every part of the city of Sodom, both young and old, surrounded the house. They called to Lot, Where are the men who came to you tonight? Bring them out to us so that we can have sex with them. Lot went outside to meet them and shut the door behind him and said, No, my friends, don't do this wicked thing. Look, I have two daughters who have never slept with a man. Let me bring them out to you, and you can do what you like with them. But don't do anything to these men, for they have come under the protection of my roof. Get out of our way, they replied. This fellow came here as a foreigner, and now he wants to play the judge. We'll treat you worse than them. They kept bringing pressure on Lot and moved forward to break down the door. But the men inside reached out and pulled Lot back into the house and shut the door. Then they struck the men who were at the door of the house, young and old, with blindness so that they could not find the door. The two men said to Lot, Do you have anyone else here, sons-in-law, sons or daughters, or anyone else in the city who belongs to you? Get them out of here, because we are going to destroy this place. The outcry to the Lord against its people is so great that he has sent us to destroy it. So Lot went out and spoke to his sons-in-law, who were pledged to marry his daughters. He said, Hurry and get out of this place, because the Lord is about to destroy the city. But his sons-in-law thought he was joking. With the coming of dawn, the angels urged Lot, saying, Hurry, take your wife and your two daughters who are here, or you will be swept away when the city is punished. When he hesitated, the men grasped his hand in the hands of his wife and of his two daughters and led them safely out of the city, for the Lord was merciful to them. As soon as they had brought them out, one of them said, Flee for your lives. Don't look back and don't stop anywhere in the plain. Flee to the mountains or you will be swept away. But Lot said to them, No, my lords, please. Your servant has found favor in your eyes. And you have shown great kindness to me in sparing my life. But I can't flee to the mountains. This disaster will overtake me and I'll die. Look, here is a town near enough to run to, and it is small. Let me flee to it. It is very small, isn't it? Then my life will be spared. He said to him, Very well, I will grant this request too. I will not overthrow the town you speak of. But flee there quickly, because I cannot do anything until you reach it. By the time Lot reached Zoar, the sun had risen over the land. Then the Lord rained down burning sulfur on Sodom and Gomorrah from the Lord out of the heavens. Thus he overthrew those cities and the entire plain, destroying all those living in the cities and also the vegetation in the land. But Lot's wife looked back and she became a pillar of salt. 
Early the next morning, Abraham got up and returned to the place where he had stood before the Lord. He looked down toward Sodom and Gomorrah, toward all the land of the plain, and he saw dense smoke rising from the land, like smoke from a furnace. So when God destroyed the cities of the plain, he remembered Abraham, and he brought Lot out of the catastrophe that overthrew the cities where Lot had lived. If you have a story that you would like to see AI interpret next, leave me a comment below and let me know. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss the next weird, wild, and wacky book interpretation to watch as AI gets better and better over time. Also, make sure you check out the videos of the books that have already been interpreted on my channel if you haven't. There is some really cool imagery going on. Until next time, take care.